Hello students, I welcome you all to my channel Engineers Academy. Do subscribe my channel if you haven't done it yet. Now we are going to solve this problem which says that the small crane is mounted on one side of the bed of the pickup truck for the position when theta equals to 40 degree. When this theta equals to 40 degree, determine the magnitude of the force supported by the pin at O and the oil pressure P against the 50 mm diameter piston of the hydraulic cylinder BC. So here we have the hydraulic cylinder and this hydraulic cylinder has a dia of 50 mm. So we have to find the pressure which is applied by this BC uh, cylinder that is the piston of this hydraulic cylinder. So for that we have to draw the free body diagram. So first let me draw the free body diagram. Let me join this uh, point O with A. This will be our OA line. And then let me join this uh, BO line we will have this line and then let me join this BC so we will join this BC and then we will have this line and then if I isolate this as a free body diagram we have the geometry like this this is our free body diagram and then so this is this is our point B, this is our point O, this is our point A and somewhere here is this is our point C and let's say that this point, this point is let's say point D and at point A here at point A the weight is going to act in the downward direction. So let me show that weight here. So we will have that weight which is acting downward. This is that weight and the force of the cylinder BC is going to act in the upward direction. So this will be our force which is going to act in this direction like this. So we will have this force. So before putting this force here, I will place it here and then uh, once we find the angle of this force with the horizontal, right? If I place this force, let me place this force here. So the line of action of this force will be from B to C. So the main task in this problem is to find the angle of this force F which is the piston BC force. Uh, we have to find the angle of this force. We have to find this angle. Let's say that this angle is alpha. So the main task is to find this angle alpha. Now how to find this angle alpha? We have to consider a triangle BOC. So for considering the triangle, I have to join this OC line. So first, if I join this OC line, so we will have this BOC triangle. And in this triangle, we know if I draw a, a horizontal line here, let me draw a, a horizontal line here. So we know that it is given that the position theta equals to 40 degrees. So this angle is 40 degrees. So this means that this OA arm is making 40 degrees with the horizontal. So this angle, this angle is 40 degrees. Let me write that this is 40 degrees. And now we know that this BO B line is this is vertical. So this will be making 90 degree. So we have to find this angle. If, if let's say if we are going to consider this BOC triangle, so we have to find this angle some way using some method. So to find this angle we can use the uh, law of cosines but before applying the law of cosines we have to find the OC length. So we have to find OC length first. So for OC we have to consider this ODC triangle. We have to consider this triangle which is a right angle triangle and OD length is this OD length is 340 and this DC length this is 110. So we can apply the Pythagoras theorem and we can say that OC square is equal to 110 square plus 340 square or if you want to find that OC then we have to take the square root. So that will give us that OC length. So OC length is 110 square plus 340 square. This gives us OC length equal to this is equal to 357.35 and now if you want to find this angle let's say if you want to find this angle this angle is let's say alpha which is the angle of OC 
this uh, let's say that this angle is not alpha let's say this angle is beta so beta is the angle of OC with OD so we have to find this OD uh, the angle of OC with OD so for that we have to apply tan theta or tan beta so tan beta will be equal to this perpendicular divided by this base so perpendicular is CD which is 110 and OD is 340 this is 340 so find to find that beta we have to take 10 inverse so 10 inverse of that ratio so this is 10 inverse of 110 divided by 340 this gives us 7 beta equals to beta is equal to 17.92 degrees so now we know the angle of this OC with this OD so now if we know this angle and we want to find this angle let's say that this angle is let's say gamma if you want to find this angle gamma which is the angle between that OC and OB so we can find that angle that angle will be equal to this small angle plus this 90 and that small angle which OC makes with the horizontal is that small angle which is equal to 40 minus beta so the angle of OC with the horizontal is 40 minus beta and this whole gamma angle this whole gamma angle is let me write that that whole gamma angle will be equal to this this 90 degrees plus this small angle the angle of OC with the horizontal so we have to write that this is 40 minus beta and this is 90 plus 40 minus beta beta is now known which is 17.92 so this is 90 plus 40 minus 17.92 this gives us that gamma angle equals to 112.08 degrees so now we have to find now we know this angle gamma so we can find this angle now we can find this angle so let's say this angle is let's say alpha dash so now we have to find this angle alpha dash we can apply the sine's law so by sine's law we can write that sine of alpha dash divided by the length of the opposite side the length of the the opposite side to this alpha dash is this oc so oc length is this 357.35 so we have to divide it by 357.35 this will be equal to the sine of gamma the sine of this gamma divided by the length of the opposite side which is BC so now let me write that sine of gamma gamma is 112.08 but the length of BC is not known so we have to find this BC length so how to find this BC length we have to apply the law of cosines so now let me place this equation on one side since we do not know the BC so first of all we have to find BC so for BC we have to apply the law of cosines so BC square this will be equal to BC square will be equal to this OC square plus this square since we know the included angle between these two so this will be OC square now OC is 357 point three five square plus OB square now OB is known this is OB and OB is 360 so this is 360 square then minus 2 into OC which is 357.35 into OB which is 360 and the cause of the included angle between this and this between this and this so the included angle is gamma this is the included angle now we know gamma which is 112.08 so now to find BC we have to take the square root of this of this whole equation so this will give this will give us BC length so this is 357.35 square plus 360 square minus 2 into 357.35 multiplied by 360 multiplied by cos of 112.08 so this gives us BC length equal to this BC is equal to 594.888 let's say this is 887 if we 
round it up to three figures so this is eight eight seven and this will be in meters so now we know BC we can apply this equation we can apply the science law to find that alpha dash angle so let me find this alpha dash so from this equation we can write that sine of alpha dash this will be equal to 357.35 sine of 112.08 divided by BC now BC is known which is 594.887 so now let's find this ratio this is 357.35 multiply by sine of uh, sine of 111 112.08 112.08 divided by bc which is 594.87 this gives us 0 0.556 so this ratio gives us this ratio gives us 0 0.556 and if we take sine inverse that will give us that angle alpha dash so i will write uh, sine inverse of the answer which gives us 33.825 so this alpha dash this alpha dash is equal to 33.825 degrees so now this is that alpha dash so now to find that alpha of that force f with the horizontal if you find if you want to find this alpha then this alpha will be 90 minus this alpha dash so then we can write that alpha will be equal to 90 minus alpha dash and 90 minus 33.825 so now we can write that this is uh, 90 minus 33.825 this gives us 56. Point 175 so now we can resolve this force f into its components so if we resolve this force f into its components we will have one component in this direction this one will be the cos component we can write that this is f cos of alpha and it will have one component which is going to act in this direction this one will be the sine component this pink one this is the f sine of alpha now as we can see that the sine component is passing through that point O so it's not going to produce the moment about that point O so only the cos component of this piston force is producing the moment about that point O. So now since the system is in equilibrium we can apply the uh, summation of the moment about point O that will be equal to 0 since the system is in equilibrium and let's consider that the counterclockwise moment is positive. So now as we can see that this weight is going to produce is going to rotate the system in this direction that is in the counterclockwise direction. So we will write plus the weight times its moment arm. So the moment arm of the weight is let me extend the line of action of this weight and let me extend this horizontal line. So the perpendicular distance of this weight from that point O is this distance and this is the cost component of OA and OA is 785 plus 340 so we can write that the moment arm of the weight is 785 plus 340 and the cos component of this so the cos of that angle theta right this angle theta is given this is 40 so the angle of this OA arm with the horizontal is angle 40 which is given so the moment arm of this weight is the cos component of this OA and this OA is making 40 degrees with the horizontal so this is cause of 40 degrees now similarly this weight is producing the, uh, sorry this force is producing the clockwise moment right it will prevent the system to move to rotate in the counterclockwise direction so it will oppose that moment so it is so it is producing the moment in the clockwise direction so you write minus and only the cos component is producing the moment since this component is passing to that point O. So we will write F cos of alpha. Now we know alpha. This is alpha, which is 56.175. Uh, so this is 56.175. And the perpendicular distance of this cos component from that point O is this distance which is BO and BO is 360 so we will multiply this with 360 so this will be equal to 0 
Now keep in mind that I'm not going to convert the units into meters since we are considering these in mm and these in mm. So uh, when we will divide both of these units, so they will cancel out each other and we will be left with the force magnitude in newtons. So if you convert the units into meters, you people will get that same answer. So now if I, if I move this component to the other side of equation, so we will have the equation like this. Let me write that this is F cos of 56.175 into 360. That will be equal to the weight times 785 plus 340 cos of 40. And now we know the weight. So since the mass is given, this mass is 120. So weight is... Uh, 120 times 9.81. So I will write that the weight is 120 times 9.81. And now if we divide both sides of equation by cos of this angle, so we will have cos 56.175. So we will be left with 360 into F. And if we divide both sides of equation by 360, so we will have the equation like this. So the force is equal to this ratio. Now we have to find this. This is 120 multiplied by 9.81 multiplied by 785 plus 340 cos of 40 divided by 360 cos of 56.175. So this gives us force F equals to force F is equal to 5062.507 newtons so this is the force applied by the by the piston at bc so now we were asked to find the pressure of this force f so the pressure is equal to force per unit area now the area of that cylinder the diameter of that cylinder is given that diameter is 40 mm so now we can write that the area will be equal to pi r square and if if radius is d by 2 so this is pi d square divided by 4 now this is pi d is given that is 50 and now since we want to find this pressure in in si units so we have to convert this area into we have to convert this dia into mm so 50 divided by 1000 we have to convert this dia into meters so 50 divided by 1000 so this is 0 0.05. So now instead of 50, we have to use that uh, 0 0.05. So this is 0 0.05 square divided by 4. So this will be our area. Let's find this. This is pi into 0 0.05 square divided by 4. This gives us the small area. Now, now the pressure is that force divided by area. So now we will write that force. Force is 5062. 0.507 divided by that above area that is saved in answer. So this gives us 257. Let me write that this is this pressure is 257 8313. Let's ignore the decimal places, right? So let's write this in up to one decimal up to zero decimal places. So now this is in Newton per meter, and this can be represented as Pascals. Now we can write this is 2.57 into 10 raised to power 6 Newton per meter, which is also known as Pascals. So the BC cylinder is going to apply 2.57 into 10 raised to power 6 uh, Newton per meter pressure. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. If this helps in your learning, like this video and subscribe my channel for the solution of such more problems.